Meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, after a couple of very chilly days, much warmer weather on the way today. In fact, today will be almost perfect. Not too hot, not too cool. It will be a tad stickier. In fact, here's a look at our dew points over the next several days. Dew points basically tell us how comfortable the atmosphere will be in terms of that humidity. And today, 64 for a dew point. So we say a little on the sticky side. Tomorrow will be the most humid of the next several days. Dew points are around 70. And then on Monday, a changeable day. On average, dew points in the upper 60s. So still a bit muggy. And then on Tuesday, humidity looks like it goes away completely. In fact, Tuesday at this point is Pete's Pick of the Week. That's a new segment I'm introducing right now. Just kidding. But Tuesday does look like it'll be a good day. A touch of haze right now over the capital city. Temperature right now 66. Winds out of the southwest at 7 miles an hour. Dew point is at 64. There uh, is some fog, at least patchy fog, across portions of the shore this morning. If you are seeing that, that should be clearing out over the next couple of hours. Live pinpoint Doppler 12, not showing any precipitation. Temperatures are uh, in the mid 60s for the most part. 64 Smithfield, 66 Taunton, New Bedford, you're at 67. Westerly 67 degrees. Now, this is a great place to be on a satellite picture where we're in between all the storms. There is the tail end of yesterday's storm. Here is the next one on the way for Sunday. Now, we're not talking about an all day rain event on Sunday, but some showers are possible. For today, though, we're in between all of the weather disturbances, and that makes for a nice day around here. 8 o'clock in the morning, we're going to start our future cast right here. Watch what happens as we go into the afternoon. Could bring in some clouds through the middle to the uh, late afternoon, but overall more sunshine than clouds. At around 11 o'clock, there's a slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm or sprinkle. Better chance would be during the uh, wee hours of tomorrow morning when either you're out having fun or sleeping, like Steve Nielsen's going to be because he has to get up early tomorrow. So 2 o'clock in the morning, some showers possible, and a few thunderstorms and showers possible tomorrow morning at around 7 as well. Now, much of the day will be rain-free, so we're going to get some gaps in here from late morning into the early afternoon, but we could fire up a few more storms mid to late afternoon around 2 o'clock. You can see the chance of some showers and thunderstorms. So today, will be better than tomorrow, though tomorrow is not a complete loss either. 83 at 1 o'clock today, 3 o'clock, 85, and 81 degrees by 5 p.m. Now, what if you're heading down to the beach? Things looking fantastic. Upper 70s. We will get some of those uh, breezes off the water, especially by late afternoon, cooling things off a bit. But hey, can't complain about this with the uh, air temperatures in the 70s, water temperatures in the 70s. Safe sun time around 15 minutes, so certainly bring along the sunscreen. Here's that seven day future cast. We have the chance of showers and storms tomorrow. Some of those could spill into Monday morning, but most of Monday should be sunny, 87, quite humid. And then Tuesday, we completely push that humidity away. So Tuesday is a great day, partly sunny on Wednesday with a high of 84 degrees and the chance of some showers and thunderstorms for Thursday and Friday. You can see 82 on Thursday, 85 degrees on Friday. So overall, a big, big improvement for today and then not even that bad for Sunday, but we will see the chance of some of those showers and storms. And look at that, Steve. No 90s in the forecast, but no 60s in the forecast either like we had yesterday. So we're kind of sitting pretty right in the middle of the extremes, which sometimes people like to complain about, but no complaints today, hopefully. Yeah, best week so far, I think, of the summer. Yes, I'm going to agree with you, Steve. Yeah. A great statement from you. All right. Thank you very much, Pete. Yep. We are covering New England this morning. The YD